where we interview musicians, rappers, comedians, and all sorts of ignorant people. So make sure you join me, J.R. Bank, along with him. That'd be me too, Jay Washington, along with him. Illinois Jones. Yeah, yeah. For Educated Insanity. Wednesdays, 4 to 6 p.m. on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. Sexy, y'all. Uh... Welcome back here to SportsTownChicago.com. We got Niagara Frontier volleyball team out of New York going against Dunes out of Michigan City, Indiana. Niagara's got to be a little bit tired after their last game that just went three games. They were defeated by. I've already forgotten who they played, but... <laughs> uh, NBA. NBA, yes. It was a very hard-fought game. Both teams played very well, especially in the last game. We're getting ready to get underway here. No, that's, that's, that's a really good point you bring up. Niagara comes off a long, grueling, right. back-and-forth seesaw battle. Then you have another team in the Dunes. Yeah, they lost earlier in the day to Fusion, but it was a quick game. Right. They didn't even score over 15 in either of their sets, so they've had a little bit of a break. So they're going to have the fresher legs, but is it fresh legs versus the adrenaline that Niagara still Right, has? exactly. Niagara might still have their uh, whole, all their adrenaline pumping and wanting to come back after, especially losing the game, they want to come back strong. Again, the R1 talking to the coach right now. I... Not quite sure what it's about, but I'm sure we'll find out as the R1 is under the R2. We want to remind everybody, we are sponsored today by the Illinois Center for Broadcasting, a year-long college for radio and television broadcasting, bnair.com, B-E-O-N-A-I-R.com. Check it out to get your broadcasting career started today. We're almost set here. Niagara will start with the serve. Number 11. Emily Hopkins will go. Our one's just about ready. And he gives the signal to go ahead. There she goes. Hit up. Kill over. Hopkins. Kill. Nice dig there by number 11. Colonies. One nothing Niagara. Yeah, not able to get underneath me were the Dunes. Maybe it's even hit the cobweb point for all we know. They've been they haven't played for a few minutes. Right. Hopkins long on her serve. One one. Dunes with the serve. Number fourteen. Tanarski with serve. Hopkins with the set. Over to number eight in. We still don't have number eight's name. Yeah, she's, for a, Niagara. she's the mystery player. Yeah, not on the roster. Could be Mayock. We're not sure about that. Hopefully during the timeout, I'll, 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 I'll run like the wind bullseye <laughs> to figure it out. Some miscommunication there by the Dunes. And our mystery player will serve again. 3-1 early on here. Niagara up. And the serve. Ball up and over. Set by Hopkins. Ooh, number 10. Dinarovic. Kill right into the net. 3 2. Doing yeah, serve. We, we didn't say her name much in the first game. No, we didn't. But she's already out here. Probably going to get a lot more playing time again, like you said. Just, there's only three players on the bench. Right. Nice kill there by number four, Kendall Pierce. She had a big game last game against MVA. Yeah, not a, Pierce doesn't have the biggest height, only 5'6", but high jump at a 9'6 approach. Wow. Shoemaker with the serve. The lefty goes long. You got 4-3 with the dune serve. Niagara up. That's one thing that might keep this Dune team in it is just the Niagara team serving it out of bounds, but uh, they just served one themselves on it. Yes. So. 
Bonowitz serve goes long. Got number 16, Audrey Oak. 6-3 with the serve. Set a little far outside. Couldn't be handled. 6-3 Niagara with Oak serving again. Over. A little too far. Hit the net. 7-3 with Oak still serving. Dunes need to end this little rally here. Oaks with the serve. Alexandra Brown just slams it home. Yeah, from Brown Town. Yeah, 8-3. Eight eight three. Three. Niagara up. Nine three. Oak just she puts it over the net every time. No unforced errors, which is huge in the game of volleyball. Yeah, I guess uh, we found out that the adrenaline still running for Niagara is outplaying the rest of the Dunes. Right. Dunes just can't. They don't seem like they can get anything started. There we go. Set and a kill. Ooh, just out of bounds. Number 16, Mosier, just misses out of bounds. Oak again. Timeout's got to be coming yeah, soon that's if they continue on what this I was rally. just thinking. Ball up. 13. There's a point for Dunes and that streak. Number 13, Shoemaker. Or Lebo, sorry about that. Ball on the court. Get that out of there. At least it's during a game. <laughs> right, exactly. The, the, the practice on the other court is now turned There's into a game. There's not 15 balls flying all over the place. Yeah, so I'll give them that. Over by our mystery player. Gets it over. The set. And the kill. Ooh, just out of bounds. That looked close for a shoemaker. Absolutely was a close one, but with it being 11 to 4 now. You know, it's a it's a back and forth, it's a seesaw battle right now. Pierce with the serve. Gets it. Oh, oh nice play there by Alexandra Brown. Ball got up and she just knocked it home. That's that, that's just luck right now. You know, it hits the tape, it drops down, and then they're able to attack right off. Right, it. yeah. Pierce with the serve, and it's out of bounds, right? Twelve. Five, I believe, yes, 12-5, Dune serve, number 13, Lebo, sits it over, set by Hopkins, over to our mystery player, he gets the kill. At least she's a good mystery player. Yeah, we don't you know, know who she is, but she can, she can surely hit the ball. She's not like some random player that comes in and whiffs or, right. you know, just is horrible. She's, she's definitely got some skill behind her. Set by number 88 to 16 with some power with the save. Oh, good play there by both 16. Audrey, or no, Mosier coming up big again. She plays tall, Mosier. Yeah. She is 6'1", but she seems like she plays even bigger than that. Serve is over by the Dunes. There she is again. Yeah. You, you know, know, like we were name. joking earlier about intern Joe always said the invisible the invisible man is your worst teammate. Well, number eight your best teammate right now. The nameless one. We are at an eight point lead right now. Shock still no timeout yet for the yeah. teams. Fourteen six, Niagara. I mean they, they may be waiting until ground zero to possibly have to call that timeout. Right. There's the set and the spike. Nice dig there by but nobody there to clean it up. Dunes gets the point. We have a substitution, number 14. Tanarski back in the game to serve. She's a sophomore. Ball over. Set by Hopkins. Out to our favorite player, but she goes long, the <laughs> nameless one. 14-8. See if Dunes can keep this little run going. There's the set. 
out of bounds. Dean scores again, 14-9. Yeah, she tried to get fancy with that one. Yeah. Weren't having any of it. And the set up. And over. Nice dig there by number 11 of Dean. And some miscommunication gives Niagara a point. 15-9. Number eight, our favorite player with the serve. Yeah, of course she uh, she does everything. Right, yeah, you know, she's she was... wherever the ball is, so. Number 88 with the set. Number five. Bonowitz with some power behind that one. Get the point. 15-10. Pierce trying to run it down, not able to do so out of bounds. Five point deficit still. Atea with the serve. Great serve. There's the set. Number four, Pierce Long. 15-11. Dunes showing a little bit of fight coming yeah. back. Pierce uh, wanted the tip on that one, not able to get it. Atea with the serve. Hits the net and still goes over. Oh. Bonowitz got her hands on it, but still got over the net and down. 16-11. 13, Shoemaker with the serve. She's a lefty. Up and over. Can't be handled. 17-11. Good thing about this game so far is there's been no unforced errors. That is true. That's that I can remember, point. at least. I, there might have been one in the early, in the early yeah. going, but not, not much since. Serve over, oh, as we say it, it comes out. Sending it a bit far. Well, at least it, didn't, it wasn't short. Right. I, I always say, if you're going to hit it, at least let it go far yeah. instead of making it go short. Get it over, at least. Bonowitz with the serve. Hawkins with the set. Big, big block by number 16, Audrey Oak. Ball up in the set. Over and long by Moser. Four point deficit right now. Dunes keeping it just right there in, in their grasp, but see if they can get any bit closer. Served by Bonowitz. It's up. Moser blocked by Audrey Oak, the 6'3 senior. She's shown up to play this game. And there's a timeout there's finally. We'll take it with them. SportsSoundChicago.com. And welcome back to the Celebrity Fill in the Blank game. Moving on to the next round, we're going to be discussing the Jarrett Payton Show on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 10 a.m. to noon. Let's move along to our first contestant. Darth Vader, in one word, describe the Jarrett Payton Show. Impressive. That's terrific. Tom Hanks, moving along to you. How would you describe the on-air chemistry between Jarrett Payton and his co-host, Ernie Scatton? Charming. That's better than hot soup. Let's move along to professional wrestling legend, the ultimate warrior. Mr. Warrior, how important to you is the Jarrett Payton Show? That is why I breathe. All right, and we're back here on SportsTownChicago.com. Bonowitz with the serve. Niagara gets it over. Set number 13 with the kill attempt. Nice dig there by Shoemaker. Ball up. Nice play there by number 13. Shoemaker, sorry about that. Lebo of Dunes. Dunes cuts it to two, 17-15. Bonowitz with the serve. Up, and it's, oh, nice save there by number 88, but cannot be handled after that. Niagara with the point, 18-15 here with Moser on the serve. And she hits it over. Dean, nice dig there. Number four, Pierce, oh, nice. Play there. Someone's rolling around on the floor. Nice block by Oak. 
A nice rally going here. 13. Taylor Lebo, the monster slam there. Yeah. Cut, gets it back to two. You know, we haven't said her name since uh, the onset of this game, but we knew she was a factor yeah, for sure. their team in the first game we called versus Fusion. So good to see. Marshall on the serve, number 88. Get over and up. Nice block there by Oak. And number seven, Hannah Curtis. First time we've said her name. She's got some height to her. Six foot. Marshall with the serve. Gets it over. Right back. She hits it up. Hopkins with the set. Number eight. There she is again. We don't know her name, but every time she hits it, she seems to score. Between set one and two, uh, we will somehow, <laughs> some way. We'll work on that. We'll get know, that. I'm just looking around if there's somebody that, that may know. We will, we, will, we, will, we will do what we have to do. Number four, Kendall Pierce here for the serve for Niagara up 19-17. And there's an unforced error by Pierce. Lead cut to one for the Dunes. See if they can take advantage. Yeah, they, they, they've taken advantage of every other mistake thus far. Lebo with the teardrop serve. Oh, nice play by number two, Atea. 13, there's a set for the Dunes. Number 16, nice. Oh, I tied they, up. Yeah, I thought they called it the other way. Yeah, all tied up now. Serve for the Dunes. Ty Logger and Hopkins with the set. Over to number eight, who just continues to dominate this game whenever <laughs> she hits it. <laughs> I, I, she's at like six or seven kills. Yeah, she's... Bunch of digs, bunch of sets. She's everywhere. Alexander Brown with the serve. Up one for Niagara. Ball up. Ball into the net. and Point for Niagara. 21-19. Brown will be the server again. Bounces it a few times, and here she goes. Over and up. Set over to number two, and just a little just to get it over. Brown from the back row comes up with a monster spike, but handled. And a nice oh, play wow. there by number two with a kill. That one just dropped. Megan Walls. Yeah, good thing that line judge was there. Yeah. Was really a, able to pick that one out. Very close. Number 11, Colonies here to serve. One point game. This is set by Hopkins over to number eight. And again. Huh. Oh, she gets a point. It. I love it. And she's smiling, jumping around. Well, in the last game, you know, I, I had to say her name that I didn't know maybe twice. Yeah. You know, not an integral part in their in their game against MBA, and now it's. We well, can't stop saying it. Nice play, balls up, Dunes control. Number 13 with the spike, controlled by Niagara. Oh, that time she couldn't do a little too far out of bounds. 22-21 here, Dunes with the serve. Number 14 comes in, Sarah Tanowski with the serve. Looks up, the set, and a big spike by number 16, but it's control. Number eight, nice block there by Bonowitz. That'll tie the game up at 22, and we've got another good one here. Yeah, Niagara. I wonder. A lead again and then started letting the dudes back in. I wonder if the fatigue's now starting to set in after the adrenaline wears off. Number eight, ball over. There's a set by number 88 of Dunes. Bonowitz just taps it over. 16, Moser up. Ball in the air. Two. Nice volley back and forth here. Moser with the spike. Handled. Set by Dunes. Nice punch there by Shoemaker. Oh, number eight, just out of bounds. 
Dunes takes the lead, 23-22. Coming back, and we got a timeout, and we'll be back after this. Have you ever thought about being a volleyball broadcaster yourself? Play-by-play, -play, color commentary, behind the scenes? Consider the Illinois Center for Broadcasting, a year-long program where you can become the next volleyball broadcaster. Go to beonair.com or call 630-916-1700. Hey, everybody, this is Dr. Pete, Regional Program Director for SportstownChicago.com. And let me tell you, I did the Team Dow Wellness Weight Loss Release Program, and it was absolutely amazing. I lost almost 60 pounds and over 10 pant sizes it is absolutely amazing and how did i do this a month on month off that's my favorite thing about the program is you don't have to worry about doing this six months in a row you do it for a month you take a break you maintain that weight throughout that next month and then you jump right back on if you want to continue some more weight releasing all right and we're back here ball's already in play nice block there by number eight Dunes gets it over, handled by Niagara. Niagara with a beautiful play by number 10, Denorovich. And we got a tie ball game, 23-23. Remember, you must win by two here at the National Junior Classic. Number eight, our favorite player will serve. <laughs> the one who we just seem to call every time the ball's in the air. Number and 11 gets. just gets crossed up there for the Dunes Colonies. And there's an ace and another timeout. Timeout here. We'll be back here on ChicagoSports.com. This is Dr. Pete, Regional Program Director for Sports Town Chicago. This is Stephen Mills, and the host of Fight Club Chicago. The Fight Club Chicago used to be on Monday and Friday, 1 to 5 p.m. Central Time. Not anymore. The Fight Club Chicago now will be on Monday through Friday, 3 to 5 p.m. Central Time, as we bring you the best from the UFC, Bellator, Strike Force, the world of boxing, and the world of professional wrestling. You'll get the premier interviews in all of combat sports. So tune in to the Fight Club Chicago Monday through Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Central Time, right here on SportstownChicago.com. All right, and we're back. Point for Niagara real fast, and... That's the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Quick 25-23, good match there to start off, and we'll switch sides, and we'll be back after this on SportstownChicago.com. You know what you need to be to get your daily dose of news. Buffy has been shot. Sports. I want to eat with children. Entertainment and ignorance. And security in the world. Log on to Educated Insanity on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com where we interview musicians, rappers, comedians, and all sorts of ignorant people. So make sure you join me, J.R. Bank, along with him. Yeah, that'd be me too, Jay Washington, along with him. Illinois Jones. Yeah, yeah. For Educated Insanity. Wednesdays, 4 to 6 p.m. on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. Over here at JamsOnAir.com, we play anything and everything. You might hear, or how about this tasty track? <laughs> we have them all. Well, maybe not that. Jamsonair.com. Radio when you want it. You think professional wrestling is fake, right? Yeah! Wrong, because if you do, we'll have either Jason Ledbetter, really, Corey Tappendorf, no. you said Kofi Rhodes, Mike Buddha, thank you, Your Honor, or me, Ryan Taylor, Armbar, find you and break your legs, and that's why I kicked your leg out of your leg. Check out the Top Rope every Wednesday on SportsTownChicago.com from 5 to 7 p.m., where you'll hear the latest about WWE, TNA, and local independent wrestling. I don't even know if that's PG. You ever thought about being a volleyball broadcaster yourself? Play-by-play, -play, color commentary, behind the scenes? Consider the Illinois Center for Broadcasting, a year-long program where you can become the next volleyball broadcaster. Go to beonair.com or call 630-916-1700. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm shaking. My nose is running. Baby, I need a fix. Have you tried ChicagolandSportsRadio.com? Mondays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for the Chicago Sports Fix. Mondays? Baby girl, I don't think I can wait that long. I don't think I can wait till no Monday. Trust me, it's worth the wait. 
as Rob Zelinsky, Josh Catlow, and Ken Morris will discuss all you need to know about Chicago sports and beyond. Baby, I didn't hear a word you just said on account of all the shaking and the hot and the cold. Could you repeat that, baby? That. If I was your first friend, I'd never let you go. I could take your places. Good news, we figured out who our mystery player is. It is Lainey Pierce. She's a 17-year-old playing with the 18 due to so many injuries for Niagara. So that'll help us out. And she gets the first hit there after the serve by Dunes. And a big kill there by Moser, but handled. Number two for the Dunes. Inbounds, they call. Out of bounds. Our one overrules the call there. There we go. Lainey Pierce, left side, 5'8". She is class of 2014. So she is a sophomore playing at on the seventh season. I'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> Ball up. Dunes gets it over, handled by number four, Niagara. And she goes right back for the kill, but does hit. Oh, miscommunication by Dunes, number 11. Colonies and number 88 Marshall there. They just let it drop. Here she is. Laney Pierce with the serve. A junior, excuse me, she is a 16-year-old sophomore playing on the 17-year-old team normally, but because of injuries this weekend is now playing on the 18 team out of Eden, New York and a 9-4 approach. Wow. 9 foot 4 approach for Laney Pierce, a sophomore. Not playing at a sophomore level. No, not at all. Ball over. Set by Hopkins. Oh, Hopkins kind of just got hit with the ball and it went over. Marshall with the bump. Set there for Moser. Blocked by Bonowitz, who's come up big so far this game. Yeah, I mean, it's a low score. It's 2 2. But she's been involved and in integral in all four points. Yeah, she's playing big, so. Set up. Moser gets it over with the, oh, the beautiful. No look. Wow. The no look. I have not seen that all day today. She busts out the no look for that one. I, did you notice that? Yeah. It was she's looking like to the corner. I'm watching where she's looking, and next thing you know, it goes in the opposite direction. Who knows? Like a basketball pass yeah. almost. Ball over. Marshall with the set. Kabanowitz, who just slams it off the arms of two Niagara defenders. Nice dig there by number 13 at Dunes, Taylor Lebo. Is popping it back and forth. This is set by Marshall Debonowitz, who just crushes it. But it's controlled by Niagara. Back up. We'll try it one more time. And that there time, she just, she's just a hammer. Once, ties, three times a lady. They kept setting up the same play yep. for every time. The slide to the far antenna and... Boom, finally finds the gap. It had to break eventually. Right, yeah. Megan Walls here with the serve for Dunes. 3-3 three, three tie. Set there for number one. Alexandra Brown who just gets it over, but nice there. Number 16, Erica Moser will be the serve with... Niagara Falls up, or Ni Niagara Falls, Niagara up, 4-3, there's the set, to Bonowitz, he just gets it over and gets a point, he's really factoring in, and now she'll get to serve here on a 5-4 game, I believe. I guess it's going to be 5-3. I thought it was just 3-3. And then I got the, we'll see. Nice save there by Oh, nice Nice there by Lebo. Alexandra Brown with the spike that is handled there by Marshall. Across to number 13. There's a set. Oh, little miscommunication, but handled. Marshall with the set. Number 13 inbounds. 13 Lebo. Said her name a lot today. Yep. Playing a very good game. See now, I think I think what you were talking about earlier, Adam, is coming to play now. 
It says 5-4. It should be 5-5. Five, five. Right, yeah. I mean, because I know I remember saying 3-3, three, three, and then yeah, Bonowitz yeah. got that kill. We're, we're sitting here. We're keeping score up in the booth. I think that's what they're talking about over there right now. It should be 5-5. Five, five. And it looks like Powerhouse falls to Maverick on court one play. So sports performance, as we heard, is going to have back-to-back -back contests now, two in a row. Oh, wow. Maverick, um, they played a good game that first game we saw against sports they performance. Sure they came so, back and, and they, they lost. A but close one against Powerhouse. A very close one in set one against Powerhouse, but then took advantage of that in set two. So it took out Powerhouse. And now you're going to have a very good matchup on court one. Right. Sports performance taking on the it looks team like from Minnesota yeah, that we saw earlier that yeah. was very good. Taking on MVA. And MVA, a uh, very good squad. So we'll see. They're the team that took care of uh, Powerhouse pretty easily than, than we thought they would. They're that yep. first game we called for Powerhouse. All right. And we it's 5-4. There, that's where the confusion okay, came so into it's, play. They put the wrong point up for the wrong team. Exactly. All right. Well, Niagara. You're right. It was 3-3. Three, three. They put the 4 on the wrong side. Okay. resulting in the 5 in the wrong place right. now. Now we got 5-5. Five, five. Number four. It's finally reached 5-5. Five, five, right, right, yes. We are 5-5 five, five right now. Pierce with the serve for Niagara. To Marshall for the set. And Spike for number 16. Oak handled. Pierce comes number 13. Taylor Lebo again just denies the Niagara player the block. 6-5 Dunes. Marshall here with the serve. She's a sophomore only. Just a miscommunication there for Niagara. Marshall gets the ace. Yeah, a bit of concern now, and it uh, has nothing to do with this game directly. It's the warm-ups on the other court. Hopefully it doesn't uh, have any stoppage of play. Yeah, all the balls flying around. We witnessed that last game. Dunes get it over. Hopkins with the set. Oh. Alexander Brown. And she hits it, she hits it. Yeah, she and she doesn't wear knee pads. No. She has no regard for her legs. <laughs> hit the ground, I don't care how hard it hits. No matter to me, none. And after the kill, she gets the serve. So here we go, 6-7, six, six, dunes are up. Oh, but the unforced error by her, by Brown. Gives the dunes an 8-6 lead. With... Number 13, Taylor Lebo gets the serve. Jump serve. Little teardrop that works. Gets yeah. the ace. That was nice. Saw everybody playing back and just dropped it in there. You know, a big part of that, that's coaching. That's the coach recognizing where the team is, seeing that there's a gap, and knowing that the players she has serving can make that throw. Right, exactly. That's good coaching. Serve up. Laney Pierce, we finally can call her by her name, yeah. gets the kill. Playing very good for a 16-year-old. Yeah, the overachieving sophomore. Right. Number 11, Emily Hopkins with the serve for Niagara, yeah, down 7-9. Her, you know, her, her shoes and socks don't even match. Right. <laughs> nope. Ball over. Niagara. Oh, number 12. For Niagara on the slam there. Haley Adams. That's the first time we're saying her name. She is a junior. Oh, got a ball on the court. Surprise, surprise. And another ball on the court. Carlini from Sports Performance Elite. It's going to be interesting to see throughout the weekend if Sports Performance Red can make a push like they did in the President's Day Challenge, which happened a few months ago. It was sports performance versus sports performance. Oh, wow. In the championship. So that's a very good game. Yeah, to say the least. Taylor Lebo with the kill. Oh, we got another ball on. 10 8 Dunes. Number 11. Colony is here with the serve. She gets it over. Niagara with the set. Laney Pierce, but Bonowitz just basically catches it and throws it down. 
what yeah. it looked like. Of course, can't do that, but gets the point. 11-8 Dunes. The serve. Set from Hopkins. Over to Moser, but blocked by number seven, Hannah Curtis. Nice play there. 12-8. Dunes have showed up. You know, their coach told me they were young, but they're coming here to play against a pretty good Niagara team out of New York. Serve. Was set by Niagara, and oh. Moser just... Mows it down. Yeah, there it is, perfectly. Mows it down. No regard. So, I, she may not even care to look for the gap. Exactly. She just hit it hard. She's going to try and hit it through you. 12-9 with Niagara and... Looks like Laney Pierce on the serve. Jump serve. Marshall on the set. Over to Bonowitz. Who, nice save there by number 13 in Niagara. Over to Moser, who kind of mistimes her jump. And Dunes with the point. Number 14, Tarnowski coming in for Dunes, who will serve. Up 13-9 here in the second game. Hopkins with the set and number 12 for Niagara is blocked by Bonowitz. 14-9. Serve over. Niagara with the set and a kill for number four. Pierce. Nice play there. See if that can change their momentum a little bit and get them back in this game up down 14 to 10. The 13 Shoemaker, lefty with the serve. Gets it over. Set for Marshall over to Bonowitz. Gets it over. Set for Niagara. Here's with another monster shot. Set from Hopkins and Niagara. And Number one, Brown, with, oh, just can't get it over. Niagara gets another point. They've cut it to three. See if they can keep this up. Yeah, two for the Dunes. Walls tried to get out of the way of that one, did, but it, uh, she shouldn't have. <laughs> right. Oh, we got a ball rolling across the court. She almost went and grabbed, but we're playing Bonowitz with a big spike, but handled. Brown with a big spike for Niagara and handled it. Oh! Little volley back and forth real fast between Bonowitz and Brown, and Brown wins that one. 14-12. Dunes might want to think about a timeout, and there we go. All right, well, we'll be back here on SportsTownChicago.com. You think professional wrestling is fake, right? Yeah! Wrong, because if you do, we'll have either Jason Ledbetter, really, Corey Tappendorf, no. you said Kofi Rhodes, Mike Buddha, thank you, Your Honor, or me, Ryan Taylor, Armbar, find you and break your legs, and that's why I kicked your leg out of your leg. Check out the Top Rope every Wednesday on SportstownChicago.com from 5 to 7 p.m., where you'll hear the latest about WWE, TNA, and local independent wrestling. I won't even know if that's PG. <laughs> Got a 14-12 game between Niagara and Dunes. Dunes leading. Oh, a big spike there by Walls, but out of bounds for Dunes. Niagara with the serve. 14-13. Number 13, Shoemaker, will have the serve for Niagara. Gets it over. Nice save there by Marshall. Dunes gets it over. The set. And the kill for Alexander Brown, who's just been a beast this entire game. Tied up yep. at 14 apiece. 14 14 here, big stretch here. Oop, ball bouncing around everywhere, like always. There's the serve. Marshall hits it up. Nice play there. Moser with the spike handled. Oh, goes over and. Oh, that, yeah, in. that's in. Call that it in. in. Yeah, that's a very good call. It looked nice. like it was going out. I thought I saw it hit the white. It just hits it just like tennis, just right. has to hit part of the white. 
I looked over at the line judge. She had that flag down. Alexander Brown didn't really know what to do there. She yeah. could have hit it, could have let it go. She decided to let it go, and it didn't work out. But the more, dunes give it right back. I would say more times than not, you always want to err on the side of caution. But if it's getting close, you know what? It, it's an easy point to just let it go. Right. Marshall gets it up. Over for the dunes. Hopkins with a nice little, oh, and a little quick volley between the dunes. Can't handle it. Just like in any sport, Adam, you want to play to the whistle. Right, so exactly. It, it's hard not to, you know, the athleticism of these, you know, students and players out here to not try to go for it. So right. It's hard for the coaches to teach that control. They show it there, and it goes against them. Right. Marshall with the set to Bonowitz. Nice dig there by Pierce. Oh, and then miscommunication there between Niagara. Now we have a tie game here at 16. Yeah, still a back and forth, you know, the first one ended 25-23. So you know both of these teams very evenly matched. So a very good thing to see. Yeah, yep. Makes Bonowitz sense. with the serve. Held by Shoemaker, the set. Nice play by Bonowitz, and they just can't keep it inbounds as it was just to the side of the net. 17-16 Niagara. Yeah, Marshall, she, it was so hard to aim it going up against that net. She did what she can. To yeah, it was such an angle that she just didn't have there. Pierce with the serve. Handled by the Dunes. Up over to Lebo, who gets it over, but nicely handled there by Pierce. Blocked by Marshall. Gets the point, and it's 17-17. Marshall gets the serve for the Dunes. Tied up back and forth. One yep. team gets a point, the other matches it. The other team gets a point, the first team matches it. That's how you got to do it if you're the team that gets down. Just keep getting points. Alexander down. Yeah. Colonies had no chance at that. No, 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 no. She was about 15 feet away from Brown when she hit it, and it got to her in about a millisecond. So. Yeah, the, the only thing that could have helped, is, I mean, yeah, there's a one-point deficit right now. The only thing that could have helped was, um, I don't even know, if it had <laughs> maybe been hit right at her. Alexandra Brown comes back and get, can't get it over the net, so an unforced error that gives the Dunes the ball and ties it back up. Number 13, Lebo at the serve. He hits the net but goes over. Nice way to stay with it. Pierce blocked, but goes out of bounds. Point Niagara. They take a one-point lead here. 1918 years score, SportsCenterChicago.com. A one-point lead, but we know that can change very quickly. Oh, yeah. Emily Hopkins here with the serve for Niagara. Up one. Jump serve over. Handled by Lebo to Marshall for the set. 16 just kind of pops it over. Oh, so does Niagara. Up over to Walls, who knocks it over, gets it up. Pierce with the spike, blocked by number 16, Audrey Oak, 6'3 middle player. Yeah, that was, I, I thought it might have been stopped because a ball didn't roll on the back of the court. I did see that. They are doing spiking drills, so you, you know there's a likelihood of that happening. Right. Uh, they did not stop it. And you saw. At least two of the players for Niagara stop right. you know, because of it. So hopefully it didn't come to a play, but, you know, there's a point. Right. Jane Colonies gives it right back on the unforced air, a serve that goes too long. Laney Pierce here with the serve for Niagara, up by one. See if someone can extend the lead past one here. Keeps going back and forth. Colonies to Marshall. Benowitz. Marshall gets it over for Niagara. Set to number two wall, he gets it over. Handled by Niagara, and the set for Pierce. Blocked by Bonowitz. She's been everywhere. She's got some hops to get over that net and block those. 14, Tarnowski in to serve for I Dunes. Think, uh, it's been back and forth for the past six points. Yeah, nobody can get that two point lead. Blocked by the Dunes. Beautiful play by Bonowitz and Walls combined to make a wall. And, and our uh, our favorite player of the game, Pierce. Yes. Not able to get that. 
Karnowski with another serve over. Dunes up by one, 21-20. Another block by Walls, but it goes out of bounds. 21-21 here between Niagara and Dunes here on Sportstown Chicago. Shoemaker, Rebecca Shoemaker with the serve for Niagara. She gets it over. Handled by Tarnowski. Oh. Colony's just got to get it over for, for Dunes. Moser with a big spike. They say it didn't get over, maybe? Uh, I'm assuming so. They gave a point to the Dunes. Ball kind of disappeared. There it is. Number two for the Dunes, Megan Walls, set to serve. Dunes up one. Gets it over, set. Alexander Brown again. Just with force. Yeah. With force, with force, with tenacity. She does not want this one to go to three. Got a tie game here, 22-22. Number 16, Erica Moser with the serve for Niagara. Gets it over, Dunes handle, up to Marshall for the set. Bonowitz, ooh, right out of bounds. Giving Niagara a one point lead here. 23-22, got a win by two. And we got a timeout here. We'll be right back, we'll take it with them here on SportsTownChicago.com. Hi, I'm Rusty Lindsay. I'm Joe Pitt. And I'm Mike Buda. And you might recognize us as the club level, formerly on Wednesdays from 3 to 5. But now we're on Tuesdays from... What? You never told me anything. Didn't you get the email we sent you with the script? What script? Well, you did, You follow us on Twitter at the club level, right? We announced it there. What the hell is Twitter? We also put it on our Facebook page, the club level. Facebook? We, did you get our email from the club level at gmail.com? What are you talking about? We were formerly on Wednesdays. You remember that, right? But you know what station? We are canceled. We're on SportsTownChicago.com. All right, here we come back between Niagara and uh, Dunes here. 23-22, Niagara with the lead here on SportsTownChicago.com. Ball's in play. Laney Pierce gets it over for Niagara. Dunes Marshall spiked by Bonowitz. And she... Her and Alexander Brown of Niagara just keep going back and forth with big spike after big spike. We got a tie game, 23-23, and some substitutions for Niagara. Here's Bonowitz with the serve for Dunes. Gets it over. Handle here's a spike for Pierce. Gets it over Marshall. Number 16. Oh, nice dig there by Shoemaker. Oh, Audrey Oak tried blocking it, but just off her elbow, down for point. 24-23, game point here for Niagara. I believe it's Pierce out there with the serve. Kendall Pierce. Blocked by Marshall of Dunes. Oh, nice play there by Colony. Dunes gets it back over. Alexandra Brown just hits it through Audrey Oak to end this one. 25-23, Niagara wins this one. And anything to say about this one? It was a game of games. Uh, Dunes, uh, again, both games ending 25-23. Dunes could have very easily taken one of them. They didn't have that opportunity. So, you know, you, you take it as well. Uh, well, I'm going to throw it your way. Up next, we could either have the uh, Team Fusion in eight minutes uh, taking on, I'm not quite sure who's over there, or we can jump right away in a, in a minute or so to Sports Performance versus uh, NBA. It's a Go ahead. Do Sports Performance if you want. Because uh, I'm trying to see who they're up against. Fusion versus MVA. It looks like Fusion versus MVA. Well, we'll take a time out. We'll okay. come back. We'll all have you do Fusion MVA, and then wherever this game's at on Fort One, we'll jump there. Sounds we'll good. We'll be back. Eight minutes. Fort South Chicago. 
Hi, I'm Rusty Lindsay. I'm Joe Pitt. And I'm Mike Buda. And you might recognize us as the club level, formerly on Wednesdays from 3.